So now we will see in this video how to create matching questions on Blackboard. Always in the home page of exams, go to create questions and I have here matching questions. In the matching question here, we will ask students to pair items in one column, column to items in another column. Okay, so um, we have to specify the items in the first column and in the second one, and we can also include the uh, additional uh, items um, just to make the items with without uh, answer, just to make the questions more difficult. We will see the steps now. So here, a question title, it is optional. Question text, for example, uh, match the following the following um, items with the right definition. Okay, this is the question, and then I will start uh, entering or the the, the 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 items of the two columns, uh, which are um, concept and definitions, word and definitions. This is my question. Here I can allow the partial credit if I want that um, the student gets um, get points for the right part of the uh, answer of all the question if um, I want to give one grade for all the question which means that the student have to answer um, all parts or all items correct to get the full uh, point I can uh, uh, remove this selection here okay so for here numbering I can choose the numbering to be ABC or uh, uh, the labeling I, I can put it ABC capital now for example for the number of questions for example I can put uh, choose the number of uh, question items okay these are uh, the number of questions that will uh, be displayed for example you can put four or more if you want just three or three does not uh, appear in this uh, drop down list so you can just remove if we remove one question we get three. so i will keep it four there is no problem and i will start to write the concept and the right definition okay this uh, here um, we will enter uh, the items of uh, column a and column b as a pair okay as a pair with the right response. For example, I have here my concept, it is call option, okay? And the definition is, for example, I will just choose a short sentences just to me to explain. For example, it is the right to buy an asset, okay? This is my first pair of uh, question answer. My second pair is put option, and the definition is the right to sell an asset. Okay. Here, my third one is uh, <sighs> obligation for example to buy an asset ah, for example this is the castle and long forward which is an obligation to um, buy an asset in the future Okay, and the last one, 
which is short for word. I will write my response, which is to send in the future. This is the pair of my question responses. Here I can add an unmatched answers, choices, which are answers or items um, that do not match with the answers, just enhance the difficulty of uh, to make the a question more difficult. For example, I will add uh, two, okay, two answers. Okay, this is my answers, two answers. These two answers are the first one, for example, swaps. And the second would be trade-offs. Okay, trade-offs. Uh, the order of the questions, if you choose manually, so you can uh, change, okay, like this, the, uh, the order, like using your mouse. If not, choose randomly, and it will be randomly selected, and then just uh, submit. Okay, and once submitting, this is, this is my questions. Okay, the question will appear like this, and the student will match. It will appear with drop uh, down uh, list, and the student will uh, match the the items in the first column, which are uh, concept, with uh, the items in the second columns, which are um, uh, definitions. Okay, uh, and of course you can here edit the number of points. Huh? Okay, example two. Okay. Now um, uh, we can use the matching question also to make as a classification, which means to classify, um, for example, a lot of items with uh, two or three main um, uh, categories. Okay. Take an example. Uh, come back to create question matching. Here, for example, in my questions, I give, I will give to the student uh, the name of uh, financial instrument, and they have to classify this instrument between um, uh, financial, between the spot market and the derivative market. Okay, this this is the idea of the questions. So my question will be classify the following uh, the following instruments. Okay. Instrument. Um, okay. Now I will write. For example, I will take um, let's say six. Okay, now my first instrument is stocks, okay, stocks, and the stock is a spot market instrument, spot market, okay, this is the, I, the instrument and this is the category. I have two categories, spot market and uh, derivative markets. Now, the second is bonds. Okay, bonds in a spot market. So here, I don't want, I will not retype here spot market. Okay, but I will choose here there is answer choice from and I choose this one for question two. Okay, and then here question one, which means that bond will be classified with a, with the stocks in the same category, which is the the spot market. Okay, now the third will be um call option the call option is a derivative market instrument 
So here I have to type it because it is a new category. Derivative market. It's okay. I will go to the next. The next will be put option. Okay, the put option is a derivative market category. I I have not to retype it, but I will just here raise an answer choice like this. Mm -hmm. And for put option is the same like the question pair three, which was uh, derivatives. Okay, I choose here. The fifth one will be, uh, for example, a certificate of deposit. And this one is like pair one, it is a spot market. So I will choose here. Okay, I will choose question pair one. And the last one, which is um, for example, swaps and will be, it is a derivative market and I will choose the question pair three. This means that I have two categories which are spot and derivative market and the student have to clarify. Also, if I want to add a matched answer, I can add the choice will be random and then I will choose submit. And this is my questions. I have the items, stocks, bond, call option, put option, and certificate of deposit swaps. And they have the two categories, spot market and derivatives. Okay, you can, you can see because uh, here I can, uh, the response will not uh, be repeated. Okay, because I, um, then uh, the student, uh, how this question will appear the student. They will get stocks and um, a drop uh, down list. In this drop down list, they will have spot and derivatives, and they have to choose one of them. And this is the way to create the matching questions. 